<laughs> what's up everyone so thank you for viewing this video um, this is a quick video on how this extension works so you're probably on this page right now you can see here you can put in your email address uh, put in your name and then it'll get right over where you can select your plan and start working today um, you can start using it right after you sign up right um, you can see here the prices and then there's that video that you're going to watch once you choose a price and a plan you can download it from the extension store which is the chrome web store and here it is okay just click on it add and then it's going to install this extension you're going to log into it right with your login that will be sent to you and once you log into it there's two features currently with this extension and there will be more in the future uh, the first one is adding friends right inviting people in Facebook groups to find those most engaged people, not random people, but engaged people to be your friends. Um, these can be your potential clients or just friends that, that you want to really um, engage with. So let's go over that first and then we'll go over the remove feature. Um, this add feature here, it's going to um, get your lo Facebook login automatically. You, you don't have to be logged into, into it in, in order to use it, right? Uh, oftentimes you have to use your email address that you used for Facebook in, in order to do so. But anyway, it's going to come to this part first. This is the process uh, log where everything goes. You have to go in this middle button, plug in. The adding interval times, that's how many seconds um, you want to add in, in between each users, right? Because you don't want to add at a consistent rate for, um, you know, for befriending friends because then it's going to seem like you're using a bot and Facebook doesn't like that. So ideally you do anywhere from 30 seconds to even 60 seconds to depending on how many friends you do okay so for this demo purpose we're going to just do 10 and then we're going to just do 10 seconds and that's fine that's not going to get you blocked if you do anywhere from uh, what i found is like 50 people or more you better increase it to about 60 seconds or even all the way to 300 seconds um you know over here on the third row it says count of friends you can add in a day that's for two reasons one is to protect you you don't want to add too many and second because you want to be able to um, have different processes, different runs in terms of adding. You don't want to just add all 500 friends from one group at a time, right? You may want to uh, strategically, you know, do a post and then add about 100 people from, you know, this group. That way it can get those engaged people who engage in the post. And then you can go into the next group and all that. There's a strategic way of doing it. There's going to be some training in the Facebook group on that so anyways for this you put in those two rows and then you click update okay and then go on the far left tab and then refresh your group it's going to automatically load all your groups okay so we're just going to go with um this group for now okay and then just click activate it on the bottom here it shows you instructions on how to click the button basically click that button and it's going to choose the groups it's going to look for the users based on the amount of posts. So you can see in this post line here, it's looking through the most recent 35 to 42 um, posts and it's, it will see who's the most engaged, who likes, who hard, who comments and all that. And it'll help you add them, right? You can see here, first person, Jaden. Uh, not friends yet. And then, oops, not friends yet. But if you go back into the extension, it's gonna click add it. Okay, so if we were to refresh this page, you'll see it is added now. So it's sent, right? Um, so that's that's an example. Uh, and then it's just going to keep going in, until it adds them all. Mm -hmm. You can see here, number three here for Sam. It's not added yet. Oh, it, it went. I was too slow. Uh, five, Sam see yeah see it's not added yet but then once it hit five then you refresh and it will be added so adding feature works okay so let's turn that off we're going to change mode now we're going to go to the unfriend feature um okay so remove friends click it's going to open up a new tab this is the dashboard, how it looks like. First things first, you can see how the layout is. There's a dark theme or a white theme here. Um, there are other features 
here currently not being used and that's going to be upgraded later on um, so don't worry about that the one that at this current version is there's four tabs here active inactive vip list those people who you don't want to delete and the deleted ones right if this, this is your first time using it you're going to see no one here you're going to click update friends data and it's going to you can choose in durations one week for last month for last three months or six months um, typically people do a, a three month clean so every three months they you know clean it up do that last 30 posts or last 10 posts depending on how often you post and you start loading now keep in mind if you have a lot of friends like 4,000 5,000 it's going to take a while it's going to take several minutes to load um, but in the meantime you can just go and do your other things as well and it's just going to you know keep going what it's doing is it's looking at your posts on your wall you know, right based on the criteria that, that you put and it's going to see who you know interacted with it the likes the hearts the comments the shares and as well as stories as well um still loading here so let me pause this and i will return when it's fully loaded all right so welcome back so that took about five minutes to load and you can see that it's loaded friends here um and how many reactions and uh, comments they've done these are the active people um you can select them or you can unfriend them, whatever you want. But typically people go into this inactive tab. Let's go into in this inactive tab right here and let's try it out. Mm -hmm. So I can click this person. I'm going to click, uh, click this person, right? And we can even click on their name and you can see it, a tab will open up. Okay, it's friends with them right now. Okay. And then from there, I will remove those two people. Oh, let's click this one too. Okay. And remove. So one of the features with this extension is to remove them in bulk, right? And it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take about 10 seconds to remove one. And the purpose is because you don't wanna remove them too quickly right um, and it's going to go into a dynamic sequence so some people is gonna unfriend them within a time like five seconds 10 seconds or 20 seconds 30 seconds time frame um, because if you do it consistent rates of unfriending then that's gonna seem like it's a bot like maneuver and Facebook is gonna flag you for that so um, that's why you know even deleting just one or two it may take a while just because it has that um, that algorithm in place mm -hmm. so this is usually for you know if you're deleting like 800 people um, so yeah and it's almost going there done so you can see going into the delete tab right these two were the last two if we go here into the profile refresh okay not friends anymore right uh, refresh not friends anymore so that's good so that works too and from here here's your deleted list in case you want to add them as friends again you can click on their link and go back and add them um, vip list that's where you want to add people if you don't want to delete that they won't show up on the inactive list but other than that that's the feature at this time you can add engage people from facebook group or you can unfriend your inactive people on your friends list all right thank you so much for watching this video and yeah I look forward to seeing you in the facebook group take care bye